Hey guys, welcome back. So about to do another episode of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This one is episode 16, Footsteps of a Comrade in Arms. So in the previous episode, we finally made that breakaway from the earlier season from 2003. So this is now manga based and I am loving it. It's really good to have some new story and some new characters and just not know where things are going. Now I did show some confusion in those previous reactions because I was a little tired, I was hungry, I wasn't mentally attuned to the show that I was watching and I got Alan Head mixed up. I, I don't know how, it was quite embarrassing, but diving into a new series now, essentially a new series of Full Metal, I I'm quite excited to see what happens and where it all goes. So without further ado, we'll just jump right on into the episode and as you know, this is a timer based reaction. You can catch the full thing over my Patreon. I still get comments from people on YouTube saying, I can't see anything, there's no image and there's no sound. It's a timer-based reaction. You watch along with your own copy. So thank you for your understanding. So how about we just leap in and watch the show now, yeah? You ready? Three, two, one, go. That's right, straight into the new credits. I, I forgot to mention. New song, new opening. This is cool too. Getting used to all the new stuff. Am I clean? Am I comfortable? <laughs> There we go. I feel that was like too close. Can you hear me? Yeah, you can. So, um, Panda Girl, May, and Lang, right? I got, I got to remember the new names. I was struggling with the old names. Mustang, Al. <laughs> I know it's Ed. Shut up. Wenry. So I still think that other guy is uh, Ed and Al's father, right? I mean, I don't want any confirmation. I'll learn. But in the previous series, it was. And it looks like he's creating the homunculi in this one. And I can't remember if he was responsible in the previous season. Things just fall out of my head. So the Scar. And he's got the young girl with him with, with the panda. Alka history, something. It's all new. We're not going to get a recap. Come on, guys, recap. They've been doing recaps for so long. Mm -mm. Gone to the kebab shop. Wow, he's standing on a lamp. Not here, dude. Getting a kebab, like I said. Here he is. Looking for a kebab shop. Oh, now I could go a kebab. Mm hmm. Footsteps of a Comrade in Arms, episode 16. Lunch. Oh, that's right, they got Barry held hostage. Oh, they're playing chess. Smoking guy. No. Barry the Butcher. He never came back in the previous season at all. Cool. Wow. Really? Really? <laughs> I, th I thought he was going to say kebab. <laughs> I 
No. Barry. <laughs> Got a new girlfriend. That's so sweet. Why does he keep collapsing? Why does he keep falling down? Has he got some kind of a condition? He had a dodgy kebab. I don't know why I'm focused on kebabs. <laughs> I'm just hungry. They don't know he's dead at this point, right? Ah, uh, they don't know. They don't know. Oh, hell. I feel like their reveal of Hughes' death in the previous season was kind of rushed. It didn't really feel too, too genuine. Like, I liked his character, so it felt really glossed over. Let's see how they do it in this one. Is it going to make me cry? I got a doggy mug. Probably got books all over the floor. Or she's hiding a boyfriend in there. Boyfriend. It's Mustang. He just wants a nap. Micro nap. Oh shit. Busted. He wanted a nap. Mm hmm. I have a scratchy throat, that's why I keep having to clear my my voice box. I'm okay. I hope. Hey dude. Somebody's changing their face and just photocopied him. Oh okay. It's the old switcheroo. So he just got there. She's like, what the fuck? He looks tired. <laughs> He's all bandaged up from his fight. Me too. Oh, 
or two. Nope. No, oh, I slipped my mind. Yep. Oh, they're going to cover it up. So he doesn't want the boys to know for their own good. Awkward. Oh dear. Lies. Wenry's on their on her way. They're going to find out. And Ed's going to blow his gasket. It's what he does. Mm-hmm. And they're going to be pissed at you, bro. And they'll be home. But he retired. The story's there. It's all still coming out. It's all getting mixed up. What's happening? What are you not telling us? Oh, shit. Yeah, this is playing out much better than the original season. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, Gracie. Gracia? I said it wrong. It's Gracia.
Well, Mustang was right, he's blaming himself. Oh, Winry. They're bound to find out one way or another. Man, this is a rough one. I love the, the paintings they're using for the, the cityscapes. They're beautifully done. And the score, the score is always so beautiful in this show. Yeah, not much of an appetite. She's not hungry.
I'm okay. Now I'm sad. They're going off the Mustang. They're going to distract him. What? Wow. Wow. So this is the distraction. Oh no. He's with lust. Feeding her information. Solaris. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Got me in the feels, though. Here I am cracking jokes about kebabs in the first part of it, and then the second part, I'm trying not to cry my eyes out. This one was handled so beautifully. Like I said, I don't have much of a recollection of how it was handled in the first season, how Ed and Elle found out about Hughes' death, but I feel it was kind of like glossed over. I wasn't too emotional from memory, but this one, yeah, they pretty much gave the reveal uh, an entire episode, which was fantastic. Why does he keep collapsing? That's twice he's been unconscious in the street. Is he sick? Once again, hypothetical question. Don't answer. Please. Rhetor rhetorical even. Don't answer me, okay? I think out loud. I'm hungry, I need food. My brain is just not engaged, like I said. So leave me alone, don't pick on me. Good episode. Like I said, very beautifully done. The moment where Winry kind of broke down talking about the apple pies and just wanting to be able to have made one for Hughes one day. Man, that was beautifully animated with the, the crying face and it just really, yeah, it hammers home how emotionally connected you get with the characters in this show. I mean, it just comes down to the writing that's the key ingredient it's just written so well but the artistry like i said all the cityscapes like are done in like a painting kind of a format 
they're just backdrops, but even there, looking really good. And all the main characters, of course. Yeah, I I'm loving it. So we're going in a new direction now. And, and I'm really enjoying discovering new story beats and the new characters. So it's going off in a direction I'm not really too sure about, like I said. But it's going to be so much fun just watching a, a new show. Even though I've seen it before, it's a new show to me. Because new. Ha! <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.